So we just got finished up getting the shop spray foamed. Uh, this was a new adventure for us, but you can see we got all the way around. We went with one inch of closed cell foam. Uh, that was just basically based on recommendation and what we'd seen other people doing. Um, but the guy that sprayed it, I don't, you know, I understand they say the spray foam is R7 per inch. Girls, can we, girls, can we stop screaming? Uh, so anyway, it's, um, they say it's R7 per inch, uh, which I understand perfectly, but the guy, <laughs> He gave me some, he quoted some spec about being basically 95% efficient in the first inch and basically said, you know, anything in addition to that, you know, you've only got 5% more efficiency to make up uh, and maybe it's just not worth doing the extra inch. We were going to do an inch on the ceiling of closed cell and then a couple more inches of open cell and then we we're going to do the one inch on the closed cell all the way around on the walls and then we were going to put fiberglass bats in. Uh, but basically we just said, the heck with it, we're just gonna do the one inch of closed cell all the way around. The ceiling will stay open. We'll probably paint it, you know, like a, just a flat white or something. Um, the walls, we're still gonna close up with OSB, but we're not gonna bother stuffing fiberglass in them. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, more insulation is always better, but at this point, saving money up front. So anyway, we may regret it. <laughs> um, you know, we may, think that in the future we spend more on electricity than we wanted to. I guess, God forbid, if we ever had to, we could take all the OSB off the walls and go ahead and fill back in with more expanding foam or fiberglass in the future, or we can go and put more on the ceiling in the future. But for right now, we're staying where we want to be on budget, basically um, reserving a little bit of that money that we would have spent on additional insulation and using it so we can go ahead and get wiring and everything else done and get the shop in operation sooner rather than later. So. Anyway, just wanted to show it off to you guys. We got more than an inch all the way around. He was depth checking as he went. Um, you know, probably an inch and a quarter. Uh, we did learn the hard way, unfortunately, because we're not completely done with framing. And he said, oh, that won't be a problem. No big deal. You know, you just, just go ahead and keep framing afterwards. And in my mind, I said, okay, well, an inch of, you know, basically it was, we had two and a half inch metal studs and then we were coming out another two inch with the wood studs, so that's a total four and a half inch. So if you put a three and a half inch two by four here, then there should be an inch of space for the foam. But in most spaces, there's not. So luckily we had most of the framing done. Uh, the last little bit that we had to do has been a bit more troublesome because we've had to do a lot of scraping away of foam or we have to shave down um, the two by four to help it fit. But doing that with just electrical boxes and everything else, uh, it is being a bit of a pain, but we're getting it done. In hindsight, absolutely finish 100% of your framing and your electrical and your plumbing. Have it all done. And then have them come in and spray the foam. Uh, don't believe the guy when he tells you that, oh, no big deal. I'll come in and spray it and everything will be peachy after I leave. And you guys can just keep right on because it's been a bit troublesome. It's a bit messy. But we have noticed the effects. We try to open the place up on a cool morning or leave it open at night the windows open at night whatever and then come out in the morning shut everything down it gets hot that day it stays cool in the shop right now um we don't have any conditioning in yet but that's going to be the next project it's going to go ahead and get uh, an air conditioning unit set out here so that we can keep the temperature where we need it to be um and manage the humidity so there'll be more to come on that but for right now just want to show you guys the kind of wrap up summary on the insulation